Once you've added pictures to your presentation, you'll want to make them look as good as possible. That could mean adjusting the color, or the brightness and contrast, or even just adding a border. Simply click a picture to begin, and then go to the Format tab. I'll start by cropping this picture. Click the Crop command, and these black handles will appear around the image. Now you'll need to make sure that the mouse is right over the black handle so you don't accidentally grab a resizing handle instead. Then just click and drag. I'm just going to crop this image a little bit. And when you're finished, click the crop command again. Just below that is a drop down arrow, and if you select Crop to Shape, you can choose what shape you want your picture to be. I'd like this picture to have rounded corners, so I'll go with the rounded rectangle shape. For some pictures, you may want to add a border. I'm going to add a green border around this image so it will better match the heading. Hmm, that's a little hard to see, so I'm going to increase the border weight to 3 points. There we go. Most images aren't perfect, and that's where the Corrections command can really help. You'll find it in the Adjust group. From here, you can sharpen and soften the image, or you can adjust the brightness and contrast. For this one, I'm just going to make it a little bit sharper to help bring out the details. If you want to modify the color, go to the Color command. Here, you can adjust the color saturation, tone, or even recolor the image. I'm going to adjust the color tone to make the picture look just a little bit warmer. Alright, I think this picture looks pretty good now, so I'm going to go through and see if any of the other pictures need adjustments. This picture already looks really good, but I think there are a couple things we could do to spice it up. From the Format tab, go to Artistic Effects, and hover over the options until you find one you like. Some effects may work a bit better than others, depending on the picture you're using. This one sort of looks like a painting, which I think works really well for this picture. I'm also going to choose a picture style. These can add various types of frames and other effects to your pictures. I'm really liking the rotated white frame, so let's go with that. You know, with all the pictures in this presentation, the file size is probably getting pretty large, and that might be a problem if I want to email it to somebody. To fix that, I'm going to compress the pictures. In the Adjust group, click the Compress Pictures command, and you'll have the option of deleting cropped areas of the pictures, and also changing the output resolution. Email will give you the lowest resolution, which means the file size will be as small as possible. And, in this case, I want to apply the changes to all of the pictures in the presentation, so I'm going to uncheck the box that says, Apply only to this picture, and then click OK. You may have noticed the picture changed a bit when I did this, and that's because compression will lower the quality of a picture. So, just remember that there's a real trade-off here, and you'll have to decide whether you want higher quality images or a smaller file size. OK, so now you know all the basics of formatting images in PowerPoint. Take some time to explore all these options to create great looking pictures for your next presentation.